Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Tennessee Volunteers. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. Good shooters are hard to come by, but we have two tonight. If they both start heating up, Brad, we may see some fireworks. He goes for three. He doesn't get the hoop. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. He can't get any more open than that. A lot of people can't hit that shot anymore, Dick, that 10-12 uh, foot shot. He had a medium-range shot as uh, an extension. Solid work getting back on D. Jumper won't go. With a bucket. The lane. The offense is making it look easy right now. Hey, guys, you got to see the man and you got to see the ball. The Wildcats are on the run. On the outside. Jump hook from the low block. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He launches a three. No good from the field. On the dribble, gives it up. And now they'll bring it up. He's in the clear. Can't connect. Kicks it out. For two. Up and in. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Dumps it in. Tries for two. The lay -in. Kicks it out. He attempts the jump shot. Busts the jumper. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Coach has been pretty active over here on the sideline, providing some quality feedback to his players. I overheard him saying that he really likes the manner in which they've been playing. The up-tempo style is what they're known for and what they've been demonstrating so far. Don't look for that to change. Aaron Andrews, our sideline correspondent. All of you know that with an additional insight there. Well, let's take a look here at the tempos for both these teams tonight. Well, it looks like both of them are going to be battling to see who can control the tempo and put pressure on the opponent. Goes up for two. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Pushes it up. The ball goes out of play. Two opposing styles of play. This really should be interesting, Dick. I think it's always great to see two different types of teams pull it out on the court. I can't wait to see how their tempo plays out. This is going to be some battle of tempo. It's always great to see the potential for big swings back and forth. We have a backcourt violation. Mistakes like that can add up in games like this. Kicks it out. Open shot. Misses the three. There's a look at the current tempo for the game. Hey, currently the tempo is definitely on the high side, Brad. They get an open three. Off target. Up and in. Gave it up. 
I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barista go up in shorts, little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Up and inside. Turnaround jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Kicks it out. Look how speed, I'll tell you, man. Look. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The Volunteers looking to attack now in transition. The fadeaway. He misses the fadeaway. For the bucket. Misses from in close. Looking for a good shot. He rejects it. Scorches the net with a J. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure in the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestle. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. teams are looking to get something going here on the elbow they feed down to the low block here comes a pick hey ball screens are such an important part of the game these days guys are so creative when it comes to using that ball screen the lane all right let's check in third member of our team again here's Aaron Andrews the volunteers are right where they want to be in terms of tempo this fast paced style is ideal for them the coach has been very animated over here on the sideline, encouraging his team to continue down the path of playing an up-tempo style. It seems as though their mindset is where it needs to be. Guys? Thanks, EA, our third member of our team, providing that additional insight. Tries for two. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Timeouts are a great opportunity for coaches to organize their team and, and talk some strategy. But what types of things do you think they're discussing over there? It's tough to say, but I can guarantee that the coaches want their respective teams to be on the same page. Once the timeout is over, nothing is worse than being disorganized or turning the ball over immediately following a timeout. It's the first. He can't get one to fall. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. 